So today I'm here to do my book review of The Snow Child by Ewan Ivey. The Snow Child is about a couple named Jack and Mabel, and they have no children and are starting to grow far apart from each other. They don't talk anymore and they want to fix this, so they decide to move to Alaska in the hopes that living out in the wilderness pretty much by themselves, they'll be able to grow closer together. But Alaska doesn't fix their problems. And one night, the first night it snows, they go out and they build a child out of snow. The next morning when they wake up, they discover their snow child is completely destroyed. But there's tracks leading away from it into the woods and they start to see a little girl running through the woods. This little girl's name is Faina. So the story is about Jack and Mabel and this little girl named Faina and trying to figure out if this is snow child to come to life or if this is simply just a little girl wandering around in the woods by herself. Let's talk about our characters. First, our two main characters, Jack and Mabel. Jack I found a little frustrating sometimes, just in the fact that he couldn't deal with emotion, especially depressing stuff, and I just wanted to like push him towards Mabel and be like, comfort her, comfort your wife. But you know, he grew by the end of the novel, and so I really enjoyed that. And then we have Mabel, who I love, but can be a little depressing sometimes. But to counteract that, we have her best friend, Esther. I loved Esther. Esther was the bomb. Esther is very loud and she goes around wearing men's pants and she isn't afraid to get her hands dirty. She hunts, she helps with the farming. And keep in mind, this is set in 1920. So that's a little weird for a woman to be doing all these things, but Esther rocks and I could not get enough of her. I really wish she was in this book more. Every time she did appear, I just got really happy and she put a smile on my face. And then we have Esther's son, Garrett, and when he first appeared, I wasn't so sure how he's going to feel about him. He was kind of annoying, but I loved him by the end of the book. And then we have our snow child, Faina, and I don't really have much to say on her. She was very much a mystery, and I enjoyed her character. And that's really all I have to say about Faina. I loved the writing in this novel. Living in Alaska, there was a lot of things in here that she wrote about that I could really relate to, and I think this gave a very accurate and beautiful description of what it's like to live in Alaska. A bit more rustic and hard and difficult, set in 1920, but still, if you want to know what it's like to live in the freezing cold and complete darkness during the winter and complete sunlight in the summer, this gives a very accurate description of it, and it was just very beautiful overall. As for the plot of this novel, there was a couple of places where it gets a little slow, but they pick right back up. This book is split up into three parts, and I found a couple of slower parts to be in the first two parts, but by the third part, I was completely hooked. I could not put this book down. I wanted to know what was going to happen. I just, I just yeah. By the end of this novel, not all of your questions will be answered, and I know I said in my last video that I like to have all of my questions and loose ends tied up in a nice pretty little box, but with this book, I was okay with that. There was only really one question that was left unanswered. Everything else was tied up. And so I was okay. I think leaving the question unanswered that they did was actually very nice. Um, let you imagine your own ending. When it came time to write this book, I had a couple issues uh, just deciding what I wanted to give it as a rating. When it comes to my own personal enjoyment of this book, I'm giving it a 3.5 out of 5 stars. The reason I'm not going to give it higher is just because, in general, I enjoy YA books over adult fiction, and while I really did like this book, I just tend to like YA plotline stories better. I find them more entertaining, they're fast paced usually, but in general as a book itself, I definitely get this book a 4 out of 5 stars. So if you're looking for a good adult fiction book, definitely check this one out, it is very beautiful.